Hello all, welcome to scenario based Tableau training offered by Raipati Analytics. My name is Kalpana Raipati. Visit our website raipatianalytics.com and register to get the first two weeks of the Tableau training for free. Also, get the mobile app from Google Play Store by typing Raipati Analytics and download the app to access the content from your mobile. Now, in this video, let us talk about design a view to display customer segment wise average discount. So what is this requirement? Now here if you see, I'm having customer segment. We are having segment, right? Now I'm bringing segment. Now there is a measure called discount. Whenever we drag any measure by default, Tableau gives us the aggregation, default aggregation as sum. Now, even if when you are bringing your discount, you are getting sum of discount. If I click on T, that means you know that you will get the mark labels. But here the requirement is not to show sum of discount, but you need to show average discount. That means you need to change the aggregation of this measure. How to change the aggregation of this measure? If you right click on the measure that you have taken, there are some other options. Let us explore that later. But here, if you see one thing, it is talking about measure. So by default, it is say, taking that sum aggregation. Now from sum, I want to change this to average. Okay. Now I'm taking this average. Now you are able to see this, right? You are getting in the decimal representation. In general also, when you are talking about discounts, we talk about discounts in terms of percentages, 15% discount, 20% discount, 30% discount. So now I want to represent this decimal representation to percentages. How I can change the format of the numeric representations? What is the way? Here, if you see, this is the measure that you are representing in the view, right? Now, right click on your measure. Here, you are having one option called format. Go to format. Here, as we discussed, every measure will give you the axis. Now, you want to change the format of the numerics in the axis or in the view. Not for sure, not, in, not on the axis, right? That is why just go to pane here. In the pane, I want to change the numbers. Just go here. In which format you want to represent? Percentage. After this decimal, after this, here you are getting these decimals, right? How many decimal places you want to show? If you want to show one, then it will show only one. If you want to show more than two, three, then it will be changing like this. So let us restrict it to one. This is how you change this average discount but but i have one requirement here what is that requirement is here any time throughout this workbook any time whenever i take discount i need to have average discount only for example in this case we have seen customer segment wise average discounts i am opening a new sheet now again is some other dimension i want to show again average discounts only not sum of discount again i need to change the aggregation here rather if you are sure that for one measure you need to change the aggregation rather taking it as sum then you can define that at default properties level what is that let me explain here from where you are getting your discount to build this view from the data pane this is called data pane we already learned it right now in the data pane where the measure is available right click on the measure now here you will get one option called default properties in this default properties if you see you are getting one option of aggregation by default every time it is taking as sum now if you change it to average where we are changing just remember under data pane where your measure is available right click on your measure go to default properties aggregation here i am changing it to average now let me show you one more time here for example i am taking ship mode now i am trying to bring discount now see 
here from the data pane itself you are getting averaged average of discount see even if you get this discount for 100 times in this workbook your aggregation for discount will be average so if you need to change your aggregations then you can define that at the default properties level that one point you need to remember okay if you want to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to the channel and if you want to know the information about the course just you can call on 9121314333 okay thank you guys